is Lost in Africa vlog number 15. Last week we arrived in Ethiopia and conquered our fear of heights to visit some of the most interesting churches on earth. This time we'll start by climbing an active volcano. Welcome to Eartha Ale Base Camp. Eartha Ale means the Smoky Mountain. Look at it smoking up behind me. <laughs> Months ago, me and my sister climbed Mount Kenya, the second highest mountain in Africa. So when my parents asked if we wanted to climb up an active volcano, I said, yeah, sure. On the way, we stopped at the Danakil Depression. It was a very long drive, about eight hours to get there. How can I describe it in one word? Hmm. Hot. It's actually as hot as it gets on Earth. It averages around 45 degrees centigrade all the time, day and night. But then we arrived. I couldn't believe my eyes. One of the most scenic places I've ever been to. Miles and miles of desert and salt and more desert and more salt until, like a mirage, a caravan of camels appeared in the distance. The camels, or should I say dromedaries, travel for eight days to transport the blocks of salt to Addis Ababa. Tough work, but it looks fantastic to see them crossing the desert. And suddenly, our guide asked us if we wanted to go for a refreshing swim. And I didn't get the joke. We're in the middle of the desert. What is he talking about? But wait, there in the middle of the salt pans, there was a natural pool. It was incredible. I mean, not so refreshing as the water was quite warm and it was like getting into a hot tub. But still, the salt made it easy to float, which reminded me of the Dead Sea. And so, we finished up the day with a beautiful sunset. It was such a magical place. Off to sleep. To a hotel? No, this is where we're sleeping tonight. Under the stars. I'm not sure about these beds. Forget your five-star hotel. This is a thousand stars hotel. It was such a tough night, though. I was so hot and sweating so much that it was hard to sleep. I was miserable. The morning finally came. So we were off to visit the highlight of the Danakil Depression. It was like landing on another planet. Located on the northern part of the Afar Triangle, very close to the border with Eritrea, it is a geological depression, one of the lowest places on Earth, and full of multicolored hydrothermal fields. Just take a look at it. And yes, that mask is to protect me from the toxic fumes. It didn't help much with the smell, though. It was worse than rotten egg. What an experience. And off we go in another seven hour car ride to reach the volcano. It's really hot, about 40 degrees out, and there's one little problem. We're gonna be stuck here for a few minutes because we just blew a tire. Because of the high temperatures, you need to start climbing as soon as the sun has set. I'm having some rice and some vegetables. It's really important to eat before a trek to give you a lot of energy. So we had a quick dinner and at around 8, we put on our headlamps and started the climb. It was a grueling three hours of hike with just a couple of short breaks. Eventually, I started smelling those rotten eggs again. The smoke from the volcano, we were almost there. We started carefully descending towards the crater. All the smoke made it very hard to see. I can't lie, I was expecting to see seas of red molten lava bubbling. And the reality was far from that. I caught a few glimpses now and then. But I was super disappointed. It didn't really meet my expectations and it sucks. But I guess it's not always about the destination, but the journey. The epic climb, doing it as a family, and all the stories we have from this trip. We all thought walking down would be a piece of cake. 
Now we're trekking down and I'm really tired and sweaty. I was soaked and wet, but we managed. Here I found lots of plastic bottles in, in the mountains, so I decided to pick them up and it's much funner picking them up than dropping them. Oh, and yes, 30 plastic bottles later, we made it to the camp for a refreshing bucket shower. What an epic trip this has been so far. I hope you're all enjoying it. And just wait to see what I have prepared for the next episode. We're heading to Ethiopia's most famous tourist destination, La Libela. And we'll come face to face with gelada baboons. One of the most unique monkeys in the whole world. You don't want to miss it. See you next week. Thank you.